Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Board CMC Works. My name is Nugent, and today we are going to do an engraving into some bamboo using my 15 watt Autor Laser Master 2 engraver, image art, and light burn. So, before we start with the engraving, let's just quickly do a power scale. If you don't know how to create one, just go, um, you will see a card pop up here in the right hand corner. Just go and watch that video on how to create. Um, for me, I have already created quite a few, so I'll just import one. And just go down. There it is. Okay, so let's just zoom in. I'm zooming in using the keys on my keyboard. Um, the plus key is for zooming in. The minus key is for zooming out. So as you can see, this is my power scale. The settings on the right hand side is already correct. So I did the test run before I did this. Um, the piece of cutting board we're going to be using is a piece of bamboo that is a failed project. But with, you know, you can't throw anything away, so you repurpose it. And for me, it's going to be the front side we or front side or back side we're going to be doing the power scale on and then on the back side of it which will become the front we will be doing the photo engraving on it so the size we are working with is 10 by 10 that is available to us on the piece of cutting board we will be using 7.5 by 7.5 centimeters which translates to 75 millimeters. So I will click and drag from the right hand side and select all of them. And I will change it here, 75 millimeters, and it resizes to that. Now the bigger we're going to make it, the longer it is going to take. So for this one, we're just going to be 75 millimeters so with this power scale done we'll quickly do an engraving to see which works best for us and then the, then we will see each other just now i hope you enjoy it As you can see, we are done with this power scale. To me, I think I will go with 2090 or 1990 percent power. Yes, I think 1990 percent power will be what we will be using. Let's pop over to the PC and quickly design this. The best settings for this type of engraving will be 1900 millimeters per minute and 90% power. So we will be looking into engraving it on that bamboo you just saw. So first we're going to be measuring it and it measures to 15.5 centimeters by 20.5 centimeters. So let's create a rectangle. Let's unlock it. 15.5 centimeters translates. Oh, I just deleted it. Let's just control Z to undo it. 15.5 centimeters translates to 155 millimeters. And 
220.5 millimeters translates to 205 millimeters. So this will be our working area. Let's just move this. Now to remain within the frame, I would say let's just do an offset of 10 millimeters inward. That's it. Now let's just make that a construction or tool line. Sorry. Okay, so for this, we're going to be using a photo of my wife and image R. Let's go to image R as you can see. It's so very open on my laptop. Let's just quickly scroll down. It's a bit slow today. Let's give it time. There we go. Go to upload. And then I'm going to be using this photo of my wife. Open. We will just allow for the image to be loaded onto this website imagear.com i will be putting it in the description but i am not affiliated with them in any shape or form let's scroll down now let's crop it and we just give you a pro tip crop it to your final dimensions don't crop it to something bigger or something smaller. It affects the quality. I've run into problems with that. Now I want to do an oval shaped crop of this photo. I think that's fine. We saw the max was 205 so okay let's crop it and now we're going to go to and resize it I want to resize this millimeters but I want to resize it I don't want to use the full 205 I'm just going to be using 170 millimeters and I want it to remain with a fixed aspect ratio now you remember when I said the dots per inch or lines per inch was set at 318 so here we have to make it 318 again so that our settings that we got can remain the same let's just click ok let's just wait ok let's scroll down type of material for this one I am going to use Norton and Norton wood click OK as you can see it has done the dithering and everything so just click on download download PNG just close out of this ad there you can see it's busy downloading so once it has downloaded I will just click restart please whenever you use this website just click restart so that this image can be so that the image that you have or that you converted can be removed from the servers okay restart it will take you back to that first screen so now we finished with image R. Just going to click and drag it over to Lightburn and drop it there. Just 
This is going to, you see how it snaps to the middle? And that's it. Let's just go. Cuts and layers. We set 1900. And scan angle at zero. 318-1900-90 that's what we're going to be using now I like to use Stucky it's just from um, if you remember the white tile method the molten white tile method Stucky just gave me the best the best um, image quality image so I'll keep on using that if this doesn't work out I'll show I'll do another video and go into depth with it okay going to press alt p to bring up how long it's going to take as you see it just shows a black blob i think it's because yes this is still on full let's just make it a line go back to that it's still black now what I have learned is click there on show tra traversal moves and it will show you the image. So this is what we're going to do. Going to take an hour and 53 minutes. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over to the laser. But before that, if you have enjoyed the video thus far, please like and subscribe and share this video every like every share and every subscription to the channel really helps in my channel growing and hopefully one day it will be monetized so let's go over to the burn and i will show you at the end of it how the image turned out
as you can see it came out beautifully but I won't be recommending doing a portrait on bamboo as you saw in the clip this <laughs> yeah this problem that happened but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe thank you